Good evening, guys. We'll take questions in English first and then in Spanish. Can we take a show of hands, please? I'll come to as many of you as I can. We start with Simon here, please. <coughs> Hi, Pat. Um, other than the result and the penalties, given you dominated the game, is there anything that you can look back on with regret or you could have done differently as a team? Yes. <laughs> I would have preferred to win. First of all, congratulations to Real Madrid to reach the semi-finals. They defend so deep with incredible solidarity. So uh, we did everything. I don't have absolutely any regret about what we have done. So always we try as a managers and so create more and concede less in every single game because we believe that uh, that helps to be close to win. And we did everything. So defensively, offensively, they make a, a good a good goal. So. One, two, three, or four transition, but it is normal in that level and the quality they have. But uh, we play exceptional in all departments, in everything, and unfortunately we could not win. So that's where it is. Yeah. Pep, how do you um, pick the players up? Because you've already spoken about the schedule being really tight for Saturday's game. It's a huge game, obviously, in terms of your season. How do you? Pick the players up, get recovery because obviously with extra time. Yeah, we'll see, really to, we'll see tomorrow. So now it's rest and tomorrow we'll come back. And and then Friday we travel to, to London to play to play the game. So we'll see. Maybe Friday, Saturday, of course, we'll see how the people react for the mood. And of course, the recovery winning is easier than losing that day, but it's where it is. So it's a semi final FA Cup. We will try to compete as best as possible. James? Pep, I think um, before the second leg last year, in front of you, you said that you were 100% confident you'd win that game. Okay. Sorry? Last year, before you played Real Madrid, yeah. uh, you were really confident you were going to win that game after what happened the previous year. I wonder, did you have that same feeling going into this game? If not, why not? For the way we played, yeah. It was two, two three years ago when we, lo we won 4 3, we played standing as well. and last season as well and the three games were quite similar today they defend deeper than <laughs> the previous seasons and we create the chances to do it but football is about to score goals and they did it a little bit better in the penalty spot than us so but i had the duty to to say thank you for deep of my heart to these players so for the way they played the play against that team and the way we played but so this is about results the business and they will be in semi-finals, we are not, for little margins, but the performance and everything, the commitment for everything was exceptional. <coughs> Sam? Pep, you've controlled so much of that game and gone out on a penalty shootout. Does that make it more painful to go out when you've played so well? It's what it is. Sometimes you win a penalty, sometimes not. For the way we played, you should have done it before. But we were not convert the chances that we had, and uh, we defend really well the transition with our physicality, with Manu, with uh, with uh, Josco, with Kyle, and everyone was at a high, high level. So we spoke to win Real Madrid. We had to perform our best, and we were our best, but it was not enough. Mike, two two quick questions about the penalties. D did you think Bernardo was affected by the ball not coming back to him quick enough? I don't know. Bernardo asked for the first, I want to take it, I want to take it. He's a reliable player and decide to to shoot in that way. But absolutely, Bernardo was again, what a game he played. So, no, it's happened. The ball go out and yeah, it's where it is. We, we attempted to keep uh, Kevin on, for knowing that there was a possibility of penalties. Erling, Erling and Kevin asked me to to go out, could not continue, like like Manu. So the game we were playing, they were amazing. It was a big fan to make a lot of substitutions, but Kevin Erling and Manu asked me to go up because we could not continue. Last question in English, please, with Rob. I bet, um, Real Madrid have obviously got some fantastic attacking players, but were you surprised at how deep they wanted to defend? And I don't judge the ideas for my, from Carlo and the, the way they decide to play. I'm not here to do this. OK, we'll take some questions in Spanish. Paul, just on the <coughs> side, please. In the blue hoodie. Hola. Hi, Pep. Hi. 
You said that many occasions publicly, apart from showing respect to Real Madrid, you've said publicly that to win this competition, you need to knock out Real Madrid. From the footballing aspect, the fact that they've gone through, it's very difficult to explain. What explanation can you give for what's happened today? That's football. In this competition, that's the way football happens. That's football. In other sports, for statistics, we would have won. But in football, that's the marvellous thing about football. This is what happens. The way that we played, the amount of shots we had, being in there, and the transitions we had, we arrived many times. And they scored a, a great goal with the control of Bellingham and the ball that they put through. But we've mentioned it before. We didn't expect to win 4 0 last year and to score four goals last time. We needed to put on a performance that showed we were ourselves the way that we've been for, for so many years and that's what we did tonight we did it in many things it's not been enough ok, we're knocked out and that's you know, we could have scored earlier in the way that we were playing and then when you go to penalties whatever happens, happens I have to say congratulations to Real Madrid because their ability to resist and defend they did that fantastically well right up until the end of the game and we weren't able to find that final pass, just those small, finer details to enable us to score that goal. You said in your first answer that you played exceptionally well. I agree with that because I think you played fantastically well throughout the game. Madrid had to do what they did. Do you have the feeling that we've seen kind of this new Classico of Europe, Real Madrid against City. If they enjoyed it, if everyone enjoyed it, fantastic. I'm sure the Madrid fans will enjoy it even more. I think those three games that we've had recently have been very similar to tonight. We've played really well and the Bernabeu is the same. We got a good result at the Santiago Bernabeu. Bernabeu, we weren't able to finish the game. Oh, I can only ask what they did tonight, my players. We will continue to do what we've been doing for many years. Of course, you have to give credit to Real Madrid. They were able to resist, to put up with what we gave them tonight. Often we've played teams like that who stay very deep. And often we found the way to unlock the door. But that's what we were lacking tonight. We weren't able to do it. There were shots, there were shots that were blocked. And that's it. We accept it. And that's all we can do. Hi, Pep. From a footballing point of view, I don't know if you find many difference between the 4-0 and the 1-1. Is the only thing that you were missing tonight was a bit of luck? Johan Cruyff said, luck doesn't exist, and I agree with him. We couldn't score tonight. We couldn't score that extra goal. We did almost everything to almost do it. And to lose like this, it hurts. But sometimes you have to say, but what a fantastic way to, to lose. We, we weren't bad, you know, we'll feel bad tonight and we'll have to kind of lift ourselves up. But as I've always said, you just try and do it. And we've done all we, all we can. What can I say to these players who have been here for so long? We've always, and now we've gone on to show that we can play well against a big side like Real Madrid. That's all you can say. What else can I say? What more explanations can I give? I'm not sure. I don't know what they can do more. Perhaps kind of in those small details when there are seven, eight players crowding the pitch. But I don't know what we could have done more tonight. And, you know, you lose the penalty shootout 4-3 by a small margin. And that's all we were missing tonight. <coughs> what do you think is the most difficult thing to face a team like this who plays such a low block. Well, we've found that, that type of team, that opponent in the past. Some teams are more open, some teams play a lower block. They know it's a difficult ground to come to and they've tried. We've really pushed them as well, particularly in the second half. And that's all you can say.
What can I say? Today, we couldn't find the way. We were kind of on the edge of the box. We had lots of shots from outside the area, but simply, we didn't. We weren't able to achieve it. I don't know what else we can do. We did everything we could, but in the end, Madrid go through to the semi-final, and we don't. Good night, everyone.